Hey, so why do we really only care about sneakers and clothes? After all, accessories are a part of creating an outfit, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you why and why accessories are arguably one of the more important aspects of creating an outfit by using cooking. Yes, I said cooking and you are gonna learn a thing or two from Chef Johnny, all right? Well, let's look back at the original question, why accessories are a little bit more left out. Well, let's just face it, sneakers and clothes are just more exciting and they are necessary to go out in public. So that kind of makes sense. And there's just much more variety of footwear and how a garment is cut. And really accessories just aren't as noticeable as a big bold shirt. Just like when you eat something like a, like a steak dinner. Yeah, no one really cares about the little specks of herbs on the steak or that it was butter based in some rosemary and garlic. Yeah, no one cares about that, they just want the steak. And since we've reached that topic, let's talk about how fashion and cooking are related. So with any dish, there are ingredients. These ingredients are mixed together with a little bit of finesse to create a dish. Just like your wardrobe, aka the pantry and fridge, are mixed together with a little technique and creativity to come up with an outfit. So just think about it, every single dish has its main stars. Pizza only really requires dough, tomato sauce, and cheese. Noodle soups can't be done without the noodle or the soup. And a fit requires pants, footwear, and a shirt, the main stars. Now sure, you can just eat a bowl of noodles and soup and that's totally fine, just like you can walk out the door with a pair of pants, sneakers, and a shirt, and you would technically have a fit, but would you serve yourself a bowl of instant ramen plain? Okay, maybe some of y'all would, but I certainly wouldn't, just like I don't ever walk out my door without some accessories. But let me use a different example that more of us can relate to, avocado toast. Any of y'all can make this super easy because technically all you really need is bread and avocado, main ingredients. Let's just call the bread your pants and footwear and the avocado would be your top. Sure, you've technically got avocado toast if you just slap that on, but here is how you spice it up to something tasty. Grab yourself some bagel seasoning. There's different specks of different ingredients that add a little bit of contrast and color to the toast. Let's just call the seasoning like some rings, jewelry, maybe a bag. Then you wanna slap on some pickled onions let's call this colored headwear and you've taken your avocado toast to another level with just some simple ingredients just like you can turn any fit into something more tasteful you see the toppings on a dish will make it a dish you will remember sure the broth is important in a bowl of pho but what is pho without onions briskets bean sprouts sriracha and hoisin sauce that's what makes your eating experience more memorable just a bowl of noodles and pho broth I can't really do it if I'm being honest but to some people that might be their preference I don't think that's a lot of people but it's totally fine if it is and so just think about this real quick. The toppings on these dishes are probably the cheapest ingredients to making that dish, right? Just like accessories are the cheaper staples of an outfit. The ingredients carry the dish, the accessories carry the fit. And so I personally don't think you can have an amazing outfit without some sort of accessory. So let's talk about it right after we talk about the sponsor of today's video, He Grooming. See, the main stars of a grooming routine would be brushing your teeth, showering, getting your hair cut. Well, there are other accessories that you can use to up your grooming game. From facial scrubbers to toothbrushes to even deodorant, He Grooming has a solid selection that either smells good or are designed very well to look aesthetically pleasing on your bathroom vanity. Like check out this smart toothbrush. It has a good weight to it. It's matte black and it looks awesome. Definitely looks a lot better than my white one. It also comes with this really convenient travel case, easy to throw in your dop kit whenever you're traveling. And it allows the toothbrush to air dry in the case instead of it being moist in a plastic bag. Come on. This facial scrubber right here is simple. It feels very nice and it will exfoliate your skin. Comes with this wireless charging as well and it looks pretty dope. And this one's actually my favorite out of all of their products because for most guys, acne is actually caused by touching your skin, even when washing your face. So you want to minimize that as much as possible. So that is why I love this scrubber. You get to exfoliate your skin at the same time and it's a great way to start the day. And then the body wash is dope as well. It exfoliates your skin. It smells perfect. If y'all are interested in picking any of these up, He Grooming has actually just launched their holiday sale where all of their products are up to 50% off and those are prices you're probably never going to see again. And especially because of that, they're going to sell out insanely fast. So just so you guys know, if you guys do spend $100 or more, you will get a free deodorant. That's something I wouldn't want to miss out on. And for my fellas in New York City. Same day delivery. Come on now. All you have to do is click that link in the description. Check out Heat Grooming. If you guys want to save some money, you guys can use my discount code JT10. Thank you, Heat Grooming, for sponsoring this video. So, a burning question you guys know about accessories now. What should you look out for? Well, there are a slew of categories ranging from jewelry to extended belts and slings. So, let's start off with the absolute essential and probably the easiest to get into. Jewelry. Now, just as a good rule of thumb, this is something to keep in mind. If you are a lighter skinned fella, 
then you probably want to lean more towards silver accessories. And if you are a darker skin fella, gold will definitely look a lot better on you. But that's just a general rule of thumb. I personally think most guys can rock both. But if you're looking for a place to start off, you can start there. So as a guy, I think easiest thing to get into right away is watches. And you're going to hear this a bunch from the watch industry. And it's something I totally stand by. You want to start off and stick with really with Seiko, Casio, Timex, maybe Orient and a few other brands. Those watches are definitely made a lot better. But at the end of the day, just wear what you like. There are some fast fashion watches that I personally dig. But seriously, you can't beat the price of this Casio watch. So let's keep it moving and talk about other basic jewelry like rings, bracelets and necklaces. Honestly, this is all going to be your preference. But I think a great place to start is by embracing your culture or your interests. Now me being Asian American, my traditional roots have always celebrated good luck and fortune with gold and jade. And because that's who I am, wearing something like this will obviously suit my style. But of course, if you guys know me, I'm very into that cyberpunk futuristic aesthetic. So this circuit necklace suits me perfectly. But you could always just keep it simple with a plain chain. Rings and bracelets are all preferences as well. I'd suggest a minimal ring to start and you can veer off. I really dig these ones from Lupin for the minimalist vibes and Gone Archive for the unique ones. And if you're not into bracelets, go for a metal cuff. Those are dope. But it doesn't stop there. I wear. Oh, was that bars? I think that was bars. I wear is jewelry for the face, but most dudes skip out on this completely unless they already wear glasses. And it's just something I've always appreciated. I never thought I could wear it, but really I just couldn't find a pair of frames that suited me. I was a little intimidated by it. Now lately I've been digging this brand called Matsuda. Their stuff is definitely pricey, so you can always find affordable ones on Amazon, but just take a look at the details and the unique frames. It really makes an outfit just beautiful now headwear makes a significant difference i'm really emphasizing this one because you could always go cheap i really like these beanies and dad hats from amazon this one right here is from amazon it's 10 bucks i really don't think beanies matter too much when it comes to pricing but hats i find it's a way bigger deal when you pay a little bit more for a hat now this one from ame is very sturdy very durable you can just check out the difference compared to this amazon one you know it's gonna last a lot of wears now i personally think you should start off with a black gray or even a mustard beanie and then for hats black cap maybe a maroon or a green one those are pretty good places to start and you can start incorporating colors to your fits these accessories are like the garnishes on a dish that add texture add color and have a clean presentation to provide a more presentable dish think of berries on a dessert or parsley on pasta it just makes the dish a lot more appetizing now crew socks those are definitely underrated and i could personally hop on this one a little bit more but a variety of colors is also nice to play around with and if that's not what you're into just throw on a scarf. This one's another underrated item that's mainly seen in the colder climates like New York, Chicago, and the Midwest and all that. But it's an additional layering accessory that adds texture and can add color as well. Definitely keep these in mind. And you should definitely play around with bags. Y'all know how much I love slings and tote bags. You don't really need a variety. I think a tan tote bag and a messenger bag is enough for your average dude. I recommend this brand Ojato for simple ones. But of course, go wild. I really dig Orbit Gear and CP Company for my tech wear peeps out there. This is a cold wall yellow one for making a statement and even this fundamental one with a unique pattern but for most people a tote bag will do the trick so those are accessories that most guys see as their only options but oh no it definitely doesn't stop there so we're gonna rapid fire through these get some cream laces definitely makes a huge difference especially on these blazers for example you can also clip items to your belt i have this carabiner type thing for safety reasons i'm not trying to get pickpocketed out here i've definitely been pickpocketed before a bandana is also a good choice i would recommend staying away from colored ones unless that's your thing and extended belts don't sleep on these you see this is going to add an additional texture and drape or you could also replace it with chains instead and i think that covers most accessories that you can get so just think about it accessories are the cheapest items on an outfit most of the time and it carries so much weight to a fit more so than swapping a shirt a simple ten dollar beanie from amazon totally changes the vibe on this fit just take any outfits an expensive one or a cheap one and just take a look at the difference accessories can make it's no contest which one's better and if you think about it you can create more outfits and spend less money because accessories are cheaper that is the importance of accessories if y'all enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up make sure you guys follow me on the other socials and until then stay fly make sure you check out he grew Deuces.